Hello everyone, welcome to the Books of Morgan. I'm Morgan and today I'm going to be doing my July TBR. Now, I didn't really know if I wanted to make a TBR. I actually made like three different TBRs before making this video and then decided to scrap all of them. The problem is that I really want to read all the books that I have but I also am moving at the end of the month, so I have to take those things into consideration. In July, a lot of people are participating in the Reading Rush. I've been participating in it for the last three years now. However, I can't participate in it this year simply because I am moving and my dad's coming into town to help me do that. So I'm going to be spending time with him, getting stuff ready, packing things, and just doing the Reading Rush this year is not plausible nor is it like I don't know it's just not feasible for me like I cannot do um, a readathon with prompts for books that I don't really want to read if I'm being honest I love the reading rush I think it's a great and awesome readathon and I think everyone should participate in it because the hosts are so kind Raylene and Ariel are amazing and I hosted a read-in last year and it was so much fun so if you're able to do it please go ahead and do it but for me, I can't this year, but I still wanted to participate in some online readathon that was less intensive as the Reading Rush is. So actually this week when I'm filming this TBR, I am participating in the Laid Back Readathon, which is hosted by a bookstagrammer named Marty. I forget her handle, but I will link her in the description box down below. She's hosting this readathon. There's no prompts. There's no like reading goals there's no amount of books that you have to read there's no genre associated with it it's literally just hey we want to talk to people online we want to read books we want to encourage each other and motivate each other to read so it's super chill it's really fun to talk to other people and figure out what they're reading so i'm doing that starting today also yes i know i'm filming my filming my tbr very very late um you know, 4th of July got in the way, I was doing stuff, I meant to film earlier, it's just, ugh, you know, life. But I have been reading and I will share those books that I've read with you so far. Um, but yeah, I will get started and go into the TBR. So sorry for rambling, I'm gonna get into the books now. So yeah, here we go. The first book that I have on my TBR is Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. This is an historical fiction novel set in Cuba and there's romance and I think it takes place during the Cuban Revolution. Is that what it is? Wow, I really do not know my history. Oh yeah, it is the Revolution. Um, that's embarrassing. Okay, so I'm a history major, or I majored in history in college. I keep forgetting I graduated two months ago, but I studied 19th century history, not 20th century history, so that's like embarrassing and I don't want to get into it. But yeah, I'm going to be reading next year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. I'm really excited to read this. This has been on my TBR for forever. It's also a beautiful cover. I mean, stunning. Um, yeah, I don't really know what it is about except that it takes place in Cuba and it was part of Reese Witherspoon's book club. I also want to get to Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This is on last month's TBR. I haven't gotten to it. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is about this book that I just like don't want to read it or something. Like, I want to read it and then I look at it and I'm like, I don't want to read it. You know? Yeah, it makes sense in my head. <laughs> okay, this is about um, a female detective in the 19th century, and she's trying to figure out who Dracula is, and she goes to Transylvania, and she's a sleuth, a detective. The first book is Stalking Jack the Ripper. I read that years ago, and just haven't picked up the sequel yet. Okay, I have a lot of big books on my TBR, and I know I'm not going to read all of these, but I just wanted to add this in case I was in the mood for it. But Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. After talking about Outlander during my mid-year book freakout, I was like, man, I need to continue with the series because Outlander is my favorite book that I've read this year. And yeah, this has been sitting on my shelf for a month or two, and I know it's like a recent purchase, recent-ish purchase for me, but I just want to be back in Scotland right now with Jamie Fraser, and I know this is going to be amazing, and I know I'm going to love it, but the size still intimidates me. It's one of those floppy big books. Like, on camera, it doesn't look that big. Um, this bad boy is over 700 pages. 
Yeah, so we'll get to it. I also have Writers and Lovers by Lily King on my TBR again. I didn't get to this one in June. Honestly, June was such a weird month. Like, I did stick to my TBR in a sense. Like, I read some books on there, but I kind of changed everything when the Black Lives Matter movement started really picking up speed and I wanted to read more black author so I kind of put these kind of books on the side yeah so I'm gonna get to this one eventually oh this is a book about <laughs> what is the book about actually Morgan well this one is a literary fiction romance novel ish that takes place in Maine and it centers around a young writer and her relationship with two different men and there's like love triangle stuff in here Another pink book. I'm really into my pink. I know it's my favorite color. I mean, obviously, if you follow me on any social media, you know, pink is my favorite color. So I'm attracted to the pink books. Okay, and although I'm not participating in the reading rush this year, I am going to do the book club book for the reading rush. So they've chosen a book that people should read during the reading rush or before the reading rush. I can't remember, but I want to do at least that so I can at least read one book one book during that week and kind of be on the same page as everyone else so that is such a fun age by kylie reed another reese witherspoon book club i am reading a lot of reese witherspoon book club picks oh well um this one follow i don't really know what this is about but i'm just reading it because the book the people told me to so that's where i'm at but yeah i'm going to read such a fun age by kylie reed this is a contemporary literary fiction novel i think that takes place in new york city so, yeah, it's a beautiful cover. It's got pink. You know I love pink, guys. So, yeah, I got this one. Okay, so I did read one book already <laughs> in the month of July, and that was All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This is a YA fantasy novel that follows pirates and mermaids and quests and adventures. This was so fun. Like, if you enjoy Rick Riordan's, like, Percy Jackson series. I feel like the quest aspect of this book is very similar to that. Like if you enjoy adventure reads, I totally recommend this book. I mean, I'm obsessed with pirates. I think they're so hot. Like, ugh, it's like my type. Like, I don't know, guys. I I just love pirates. This was a fun read. I'm really into it. I honestly didn't pay attention to descriptions of the characters because I was like, I'm going to make them how I want to in my own head. So the main love interest to me looked like Orlando Bloom, Will Turner, because that was my sexual awakening when I was like in grade school. And I was like, mm hmm, yep, I like men. So I was like, you know, putting that into this book, even though the author probably didn't want her characters to resemble Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't really care. I did what I wanted to do in reading this. Really enjoyed this book. I'm going to talk more about it in my wrap up. But yeah, if you enjoy pirates, if you enjoy a little bit of romance, adventure, magic, it's all in this book. It's really good. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the book that I'm currently reading, and that is The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. I am more than halfway through, so I'm getting through a good chunk of this. This is about women who work for a traveling library in the Appalachia region of Kentucky, and it is so good. This is, oh, during the Great Depression as well, so this is historical fiction. There's some romance in there, but it's really about this female friendship in this library in Kentucky. Oh my goodness. I love this book. It is so good. Like, I, another Reese Witherspoon book club pick, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> I enjoy Reese Witherspoon's book club picks. I mean, whatever. I am really enjoying this book. I think it's amazing. I can already tell this is going to be a five star read for me, and I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. But yeah, I'm reading this throughout the laid back readathon, and I was talking to someone else who's read this book, and we're on the same page about how amazing it is. But yes, I am currently reading this one and I plan on finishing it today. And lastly, I'm going to show you the book that I'm going to do for my first tipsy book review. And the votes were really close. It was between Six of Crows and Crescent City, but I received messages from various people that Crescent City was going to be the book that I read. I kind of knew this was going to happen. I wanted it to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be reading Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. Once I finish The Giver of Stars, like, I'll probably start reading this book. I don't really feel like I need to say anything about this book because this is Sarah J. Mass's first adult fantasy novel. 
we'll see how that is. Um, and a lot of people either love it or hate it, which I feel most people feel think about Sarah J. Mass. And I feel like I love or hate her too. There's some books by her that I absolutely adore. Akamath was amazing. I read that. That's like the most read book on my shelf. Like I've read it at least five times. Um, and I didn't really like the Throne of Glass series. It was like, eh, mediocre. Kingdom of Ash was horrible, but Empire of Storms was so good. So I'm like so conflicted about all things Sarah J. Mass. So I don't really know how I'm going to feel about this book. I don't know if I'm going to love it. I don't know if I'm going to hate it, but I'm going to review it drunk later this month and it's going to be awesome, I hope. So if anything, it'll be funny. So <laughs> I'm not going to read this drunk. I'm going to read this sober, tab it, and then go back to things in my video. But yeah, this is the last book on my TBR, but I am going to start it soon. I know that TBRs are subject to change. I mean, th these are the books that right now I'm currently in the mood to read, but throughout the month I'm sure I'll read different books and change things out. So stay tuned for my wrap up at the end of the month to see what I actually do read. But these books are the ones that I'm most excited about right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!